The age and configuration of our elementary schools forces the school department to spend its limited facilities budget very inefficiently. The newest section of our elementary schools was completed in 1959. This means renovations and repairs require the school department to direct scarce dollars into educationally outdated buildings. At Hadley School, the just completed boiler replacement project cost $495,000. Tens of thousands of additional dollars have been spent restoring ventilation systems, repairing windows, and replacing screens. While these repairs did improve staff and student comfort, the educational limitations of the building remain unaddressed, with all available funds required just to maintain only the most basic safety and occupancy requirements. Similar heating upgrades are next required for both Clark School and Stanley School. At Clark School, $900,000 was recently spent for a front entrance ramp and a two-story lift in order to make it our first and only handicapped accessible elementary school. The proud announcement that the school was now handicapped accessible was tempered by the fact that 75% of the town's 800 elementary students still attend schools without entrance ramps, accessible bathrooms, or elevators. Just this fall, a Hadley student with a broken leg was required to temporarily change schools and leave her teachers and classmates because the student's school was not accessible. Continued access improvements at Clark, Hadley, and Stanley will cost millions of dollars. This will divert funds from other essential municipal and school projects, yet do nothing to address the educational limitations of our elementary schools, which have an average of 86 years in service. Beyond these two projects, there was a long list of unmet critical facility needs at all three elementary schools. The backup boiler at Clark must be replaced. The electrical system at Hadley is woefully outdated. Testing during 2017 found that the Stanley electrical service distribution from National Grid is at risk of becoming unreliable and will probably require repair. The intricate heating control systems in all three schools must be rebuilt. Our current elementary school entrances have access control and visitor screening procedures well below current school standards. Even if Swampscott could fund these pressing elementary school needs, this is only the start of a long, long list. A continual cycle of rehab, retrofit, and repair would still leave our schools deficient by today's educational standards and it would leave unfulfilled our goal of educational parity for all Swamscott learners.